Alright everyone, so A4 Fantasy 2020 is back, and yeah, basically uh, I was deciding to do an actual separate channel for A4 Fantasy, I'm just going to do it do on this channel, if it does bad then I'll make a separate channel, but if it does alright then I'll just start posting A4 Fantasy content on this channel, because I love A4 Fantasy, and it's just got, it just released today, and I should be posting this tomorrow, so it should be a day after the release, but you can make your teams now, uh, you have to go on the website, it's not on the phone app yet, but uh, yeah, I've made my team, and yeah, so let's just, I'm just going to show you, like, this is my, my first ever draft, like, team, my first ever first team I've made. And obviously, most of these picks are probably going to change, like, I'm going to be changing it and deciding. But right now, this is my first, um, uh, first ever fantasy team, and I'll just go through as to why I picked my fantasy. So, I have 52k, uh, salary left, so I basically spent everything, so... First of the defense, uh, I decided to not pick Jack, uh, Jake Lloyd. I don't know, he's just end of the season was wasn't wasn't appetizing. Like it was just he was playing on the wing and it did really bad. Uh, I think it was something to Jordan Jordan Do Dawson. He was playing um, more defense and he was his scoring was getting big and uh, Jake Lloyd's score was going lower because he was playing on the wing and you need those plus sixes for him. So yeah, I just. Uh, it will probably change, but right now uh, my top defender is Brody Smith. I just love the way he ended the season, and it, he's a defender, and he can get those sixes, and he can kick uh, 50 meter goals, which you love. So um, he's my top defender. Next we got Doherty. It's self-explanatory. It's basically a must-have if he plays round one. Third is Dan Houston. Uh, he, he if, it, if he plays midfield in the JLT, or it's not even called the JLT. It's like the Marsh, I think it was. And the, I just we'll just call it JLT because it's easier. So if he plays JLT, then 100%. And he plays JLT in the midfield, then 100% you should he's a lock basically because he killed in the mid, uh, and his scoring was definitely impacted when he plays in the fence. So hopefully he plays in midfield, and then yeah, I'd say he's a lock. Next we got Tom Dodie. Uh, this might change, but right now I've, uh, last season he was scoring like 80s, 90s, and he got injured in ACL. So he he'll be back and get this plus sixes. It might change, but. For now, I'm picking him, and he's even in the like the leaders, so that's interesting. Uh, next, uh, I got the rookies. I'm starting two rookies for the fence. I got Hayden Young and uh, one interesting last name. Jay, how do you know his first name? It's Butts. What an interesting last name. But anyway, uh, yeah, self explanatory These might rookies might change. Depends uh, if they're playing uh, the first weekend. You need to check job security. That's very important. So that's why I got a lot of LA rookies because. Obviously, the Max Exodus, where lots of people players were leaving. They're going to be playing lots of rookies. So, uh, yep. And then, yeah, the, the bench, Bianco and Chol, another Adelaide rookie. It's just random. Uh, if I've heard of them, then I'll just put them in. But they're most likely going to be 170Ks. And, yeah, so the, to the midfield, um, this is, I've, I've picked a, cu like a couple of uniques. Oh, no, I've only picked... First, Jack McRae, obviously. I mean, I didn't have him for the, for the whole season, which would definitely hurt in my... Um, had my uh, overall ranking. It, I did have him at the start, and he was just scoring really bad. Like he was scoring like 90s. I just couldn't have that on my team, and then all of a sudden he just started going beast mode, and yeah, it was very disappointing. But uh, yeah, I'm de de definitely starting him. Hopefully, he doesn't have a bad start. Next, we got Patrick Dangerfield. Now, this is an interesting one. Uh, he lost forward status, but the reason why I'm picking him is because of Tim Kelly. He left, and I've seen his averages uh, when Tim Kelly was there. He was beast. So hopefully, fingers crossed, he doesn't play forward. Although I might change this, it's still like 50-50, but right now I'm starting with Danger. Next we got Lions. Now this is a definitely a unique here. Um, I'm picking him because he won't get tagged. Lucky Neil will get tagged. I, I had Lucky Neil for like the whole season. And yeah, uh, it was very painful for me to w watch him getting tagged and Lloyd and Zorko getting off the chain. But right now I might be picking Zorko or Lions because those two don't get tagged anymore. It's just Lucky Neil. So yeah, it's just 50-50 once again. Next we got Tom Mitchell, he's a 100% lock if he plays round 1, there are still some doubts that he might not even play round 1, but right now I'd say he's a lock. Uh, next we got Bryce Gibbs, now uh, he's playing on the wing, this is like interesting, if he, if he does well in the JLT then 100% picking up, because obviously there's going to be lots of midfield spots for him, and hopefully he can get a run in the mid and play in the wing, and, and he's, he's he played in Cats in the wing, and he's got his scores was a beast, like he scored like 140s, he's very good at, uh, he's a gut runner, so he likes to get those plus 6s, so... Hopefully, um, players on the wing or midfield either works for him, and yeah. Next, we've got Marley and Pickett. Obviously, I uh, won in the grand final, and yeah, he scored like an 80, so I'd say almost a lock if he plays round one. Next, we've got Matthew Rowe, self explanatory. Uh, 
number one draft pick, usually picked up. We've seen what Sam Walsh did. Uh, Jack Bartel, 170k. Uh, he missed last season with a back injury. But uh, I've seen a documentary where the, the coach is basically saying that he's going to play uh, basically the whole season, so that's why I picked him. And then Mac Henry and Zach Foot, random, but uh, yeah. And then we've got the Rucks, Brody Grundy, almost a lock basically. Like that price is pretty big, but I'm, so, I'm still saying it's a lock. Next we got, uh, I got picked a bit of a unique here, Scott Lysette. Now, I picked him because Paddy Ryder uh, left, and we've seen that, that free game where Paddy Ryder was like dropped. With massive swords, like nearly 150 of them. So that's why he's a unique for me. Uh, bench, we got Luke Jackson, he's to pick four, and I'm pretty sure that Melbourne are going to play him to develop him. Then to Max Scorn. But yeah, I'm not picking Max Scorn um, due to his just price. I need price for other people. Uh, next forwards now we got Lockie Whitfield. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty sure he's just a lock. Uh, like he's, he, the forward line is pretty like there's not much good premium, so I'd say just lock him in. Next we got Dustin Martin now. Uh, this is a 50/50. I'm de deciding if I should pick Jack Steven or Dustin Martin, and you gotta look at the price and Jackson's Jack Stevens very I'd say on the price. So yeah, that's a still 50/50 because I might need uh. I'm, I might change Brody Smith to probably just Jake Law because I can't afford to if he gets those 120s in the last year where he got scored like seven 120s in a row. I didn't have him, so had Rory Laird. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, Dustin Martin. And then next we got Andrew Brayshaw. Obviously, he had a breakout one game, but I'm looking for like a, I think he's his third year, third year breakout. He could be doing a Tim Taranto. We'll never know. But uh, yeah, he's playing midfield. There's lots of sports. It's just Nat Five. That's basically it. And Monday probably gonna retire but uh, yeah uh, Andrew Brayshaw uh, hopefully a third year breakout from him next now this is a 50-50 once again Chad Wingard now uh, last year I was I, I was about to pick him but he got injured and he didn't play for like so long but yeah he's playing midfield now and he's a tackling machine he's scoring five plus tackles a game and getting and managing to get disposal so I reckon he's back and yeah that's why I picked him and then the rookies once again it's just pretty random Shane McAdam, Mac, Mac Adam uh, Dylan Williams, K. Strachan, and Trent Bergman, they can change, and yeah, I've got so many crazy rookies. I reckon the go is to get lots of rookies because I've got three, four, five, six other rookies. Maybe that's too much, but I'd say the job security is pretty good for most of them, but yeah, that's basically the team. Uh, oh yeah, the utility thing, I'm doing it from mid at the moment, it's another Crows rookie, so seven, and yeah, so that's basically the whole, um, that's my whole team, so Leave me, leave, leave me down below your thoughts, if there's some players that I uh, should be picking, is a unique so you don't think they're going to go well, and like, you can even leave down your team, even though it might take a long time, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, um, yeah, I'll be trying, if this video does well, then I'll do more Air for Fantasy content in this, on this channel, and I'll just do like must-haves and uh, players you shouldn't pick, like traps, but uh, thanks for watching, like, subscribe, and comment, and I uh, hope to see you next one, peace.